Ah. Ah, huh, that was pretty satisfying. It was. Yes, indeed. Hello. Hi. I'm Jimmy. I'm Sam. And today we are reviewing Paranorman. A wonderful, delightful, well, you know what, let's just save time and say a Leica film. Yeah, it's a Leica film. Because it, it's a Leica in film, every so sense, you know every, it's going to be yeah, amazing. In every sense of the word. Yeah. Um, so I have a confession to make. When I first saw Paranorman, mm -hmm. I had already seen... Well, actually, no, I hadn't seen... I had not seen Frank and Weenie yet, but I actually... For a time, like Frank and Weenie more. I am so glad that you brought up the fact that these two movies came out within two weeks of each other. I know it's kind of it's kind of bizarre. It's one of those it weird, is really perfect. There's but. always this trend in Hollywood that is sort of like there's these two movies that center around the same yeah. exact idea, and they they seemingly just yeah these are the, manifest out of nowhere at the exact same. These time. are the deep impact and Armageddon of. Childhood creepy, you know, loner saves the day movies. Right. Uh, in the truest sense of the word, because Deep Impact, like Frankenweenie, is emotionally unsatisfying. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far, but we're talking about we're talking about Paranorman. That's today. true. Um, so let's let's first just say Paranorman is one of the most gorgeous films yeah, that you it can is you can watch. I mean, truly it's truly incredible. It's one of a kind in the sense that it was. Primarily done with 3D printed characters, so it really holds that yeah. distinction as like the first to really do that. Yeah, and if you if you really pause it, if you look through it frame by frame, the characters all look like there there's something about the build of it because of the printing Absolutely. technology. They look like they're made out of like delicate spun sugar. Yeah, you know, so it, it really does feel. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, Coraline, the other Leica-produced movies that we've seen before and since, you know, they, they don't exactly look like cumbersome clay figures. But right. in this, it really knocks it up a notch Absolutely. in terms of delicacy and precision. Absolutely. Um, and it's, it, uh, you know, the, the 3D effect, if you saw it in theaters or if you see it at home in 3D, is really gorgeous. I mean, you really get a sense of a 3D world just yeah. because so it really know, it's perfect. Techni technically, the film is, yeah. is, is perfect. Let's talk a little bit about the story, though. The story, um, I think, is something almost every kid can... Res it resonates with every kid at some point in their life, you know? Yeah. The feeling of being sort of this outcast, this loner, not having a lot of people to talk to, yeah. that kind of thing. Well, it's fairly standard, you know, oh, the outcast who has magical powers, who saves the day. Right. It's something we've seen before. The unlikely since. hero. But I think the difference with this is that, uh, you know, whereas Harry Potter or some other story will be like, this kid is, you know, someone comes and tells him, you're different, you're special, we're going to take you away and solve all your problems. Right. Uh, Norman starts the movie off in a fairly bad place. I mean, right. he's disliked by his family, the entire town, yeah. and it just makes it more believable. You know, him as an outcast. It doesn't. And he has feel to like, kind of find that yeah. that that place of belonging and and really owns that that little that bit of the outcast. He turns his weakness into a sort of a strength for himself. And it, yeah. Like, it really, that, that that's really the, the emotional curve of the movie and like the growth of the character. Yeah. Really interesting. And uh, no spoilers, obviously, but the movie itself does really have a third act twist that I did not see coming at all the first mm -hmm. time I saw it, and is really resonant. It's something I feel like I have not seen in a children's movie before, and it, it really kicks the. Uh, I don't know, the, the truthiness of the movie up a notch, you know, it feels like a, a, a fairly adult lesson to, yeah. to, to teach to Yeah, young and, you know, people, there's been a trend, know. I think, also recently uh, with movies that are these kids' movies, but they're really kind of upping yeah. the, the emotional oh, yeah. stakes a little bit and yeah. like the lessons. Like, I mean, when I, I remember when I saw How to Train Your Dragon, mm -hmm. when he lost his, his leg at the end, I was like, yeah. Whoa, that's like this is that's I mean, really dark almost for a kids movie, but at the same time, it sort of like is embedding this lesson of like it's okay to be different. Yeah, and definitely. I think that's really in the age of like bullies and everything yeah. like that. I think it's really good to uh, be teaching those kinds of lessons to yeah. in these movies in any way they can. Oh, definitely. I mean, these are you know this is a horror, uh, not horror, but it's a it's a spooky and it genuinely is pretty, oh, spooky. Yeah, it's pretty there spooky. are parts yeah. that really stay with you oh yeah but it is a uh, it's a kids movie made in an era you know where we're, we're feeling the reverberations of, of Pixar's method of, of you know no holds bar don't 
don't simplify things storytelling 10 years on. Right. You know, and it's kind of seeped into all the areas of the culture. And then Absolutely. you marry that with, again, a production that is just so beautiful Absolutely. and so well designed. Absolutely. Um, it's a real treat of yeah. a movie and really worth watching. Uh, and it's certainly nice to, you know, have a, a spooky Halloween movie that you can do with younger people. Yeah. You know. So, if you haven't seen Paranorman, please go check it out. It's very much worth your time. <laughs> Technically brilliant. The film just works on so many yeah. different levels. And it's, so, it's really layered. And I think that, if, like, to, to your point, if you're watching with kids, you're watching with adults, there's, really, there's going to be a different sort of message that each person takes away. Yeah. But everyone's going to have a good time. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, well, thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. I'm Sam. I'm Jimmy. And we'll be reviewing more Halloween movies for every day of the month. So please come back, check out some more, and be sure to subscribe and let us know what you think. What a treat.